Hello YouTube, it's Johnny Clayton here. How are you doing today? Remember guys to smash that like button and hit that subscribe for more awesome content. If you guys would like to see more how-to videos on the PCSX2 or any other emulators that you would guys would recommend, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. So this is an updated to the date video on how to use cheats on the PCSX2, which is extremely, extremely hard to figure it out. Basically, I tried the coding in the cheat system here, in the cheats folder with the Panache folder, and oh, which is, I'll say here, these folders here, and it's just an absolute fart on. Did not work for me whatsoever. So basically, in the comment section, you'll see what you'll need. You'll need, this is just from my experience, PC SX 1.5.0. Um, it's the most up-to-date. You'll also need Codebreaker version 10 which I'll leave a link in the description below. Whatever game file you want to use, um, and we'll go from there. So we've got the PCSX loaded up here. Basically, you want to go CDVD drive, ISO selector, code breaker, version 10, system. You want to enable your cheats. If this doesn't click enable, close it, enable, if it doesn't work for you. And then we're going to go boot CD, DVD fast. It loads up for you. And it's a pretty awesome. This is really easy to do. It's quicker, it's easier, less time, and straight in there like a normal, authentic PS2 cheat system, which is better than sitting trying to type in codes and find and copy and paste in codes, which takes hours and hours. And this took me a long time to figure out how to get this to work. Um, so I'd really appreciate those likes and subscriptions for it. It would be pretty damn awesome. So we'll get straight down to Midnight Club 3, Club Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix is what I'm going to show you this on because it's what I want. This is going to be my new Let's Play for you guys. So yeah, let's have a look. And there it is, they already highlighted. So, you basically click the right button, you're right on the D-pad, um, or whatever it is you've configured your controller to, assuming if you have done that. If you haven't, we'll do a little how-to video on that as well, if you leave that in the comment section if you just want to see that. So... Enable code must be on as it tells you. So X on that. Infinite money, I've got an X on that. Max money, X on that. That's what I want. I don't want any more of this on here. There's tons and tons of cheats. You can't have all them. Tough shit. So you just can't. Um, basically, you press the start button. It comes up. So you come to this screen here. Ignore these for the time being. We're not going to play with these. So you click start game. So it comes up with, please insert game. So then you go back to your PCSX here. Yeah? DVD drive, ISO selector. This is important. It cannot work if you don't do this. Midnight Club 3, dub edition. Swap disc. Do not go back to system. Come back to this screen here. Remember, come back to this screen. If you go to the CD system and boot it, it will not work. X on here. And the game will load for you. Um, it's basically acting like a programmed version of the CDs, so you don't have to swap up discs and what have you, if you don't have the code breaker disc. I do have a copy of this, which is, I'll see right about soon, and a photo of me holding my Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, which is why I chose this game. Um, and it is in my DVD drive, and that's what we're running at the minute. I love this game. It's fantastic. So... I'm not going to say, well, I say so. I'm going to be controversial here. This is a warning. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition for me was better than any Need for Speed Underground. Better than new Need for Speed Underground, which totally lost all its flavour. Um, and I love this. No, even going back to it last night, as you can see, 90, spent a little bit on it last night. I've just done this this one here. Um, and I wasn't recording my screen because I was being a dumbass. So I'm going to go create profile. Um, 19. 67 we're going to go no oh, i'll just go 18 we'll just say 18 accept this is just a creative profile that shows that this is working i will load this all up here and um, what i'll also do is close the game once we've sorted it and um, to sh prove that the cheats still stay on and they don't go away the money that is but if you're going to use cheats that need to be used the time you're playing the game obviously you'll have to reload it but this is faster than going in the, into your pcxx folder Choosing cheats, changing the panache, panache file codec. It's just, it's a pain in the ass. I tried it last night. It didn't work whatsoever. 
As you can see here in the bottom right hand screen here, there's the money cheat activated. It's working. That just proves there that it's working. So we've already got the money cheat. The infinite money will come after. So we're going to choose a Mitsubishi Eclipse because I've not owned an Eclipse, on, an Eclipse on this game yet. And we will be doing that now. And I must stress, it only, for me, it's only worked on 1.50. That's not to say it won't work on 1.4. I haven't got, pardon me, 1.4. I was trying for ages to get it working. This Basically, this ISO file for the cheat system wouldn't load up. Um, on 1.4, so I'm assuming it's only going to work on 1.5. That's it only has for me. So yeah, as you can see, infinite money kicked in straight away. We bought all those parts. Get straight back out of here. We're going to exit the garage. If this saves there, that's that's saving there. Do not remove memory card. So what we'll do now is we'll just skip that little intro video. It's going to go to a race. We're going to do the race to prove, obviously, you're racing get through the game a little bit more um, to show that the game doesn't glitch, it doesn't stop, doesn't freeze, etc, etc. It hasn't for me yet. That's not to say it won't for you. You just need to configure your own system. If you would like to see how I configured my system, then I need to get that 10 likes minimum and a nice little comment in this section, in the comment section. So yeah, guys, I'm giving it a big old nos. As you can see, the speed, the frames per second is slower Simply because the way I've got it configured works perfectly for me without recording my screen. I am recording the screen at the minute, which slows down the speed for you guys. For the gameplay, because it's a plug-in based emulator, which I love this emulator. I give props out to Simply Austin for showing these videos. He's a fantastic guy. I'll leave a link in the description for him, um, to his channel. If you just want to see an extremely in-depth, very educational video, on the PCSX emulator and other emulators. He's an emulator master, basically. He's fantastic, great videos, awesome guy. Um, and what got me into this, because I was wanting to play, basically record PS2 games for my channel um, in 1080p, which is what I really wanted, and I can do that now, thanks to this awesome dude for putting those videos out there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known how to do this. I learned how to do this, sorry. It's not about knowing, it's like learning how to do it. So yeah, and we're coming to the end here. Yeah. As you can see, fantastic. Obviously, we've modified the car. That's basically just to show you the, the, how the money works. You can do different like damage cheats and things like that, etc., etc., etc. We're just waffling a bit because we're showing that this is going to work. So we've won the race. We're going to go saving now. So we'll go back to the garage because it's saved, and then we will close the game. So we're going to close the game now. And I'll close PCSX as well to prove that it's closed. That will cancel out all your cheats that you've used. So obviously if you use game cheats that need to be used every time you load the game, you'll have to do that yourself. So here we go. Click back on it. We're going to just double check. It's still there. It's still there. So we're going to boot it back up to prove that the money cheat has worked and it's still there. So you've got max money. So you won't have to ever worry about spending your money basically so yeah if you like this video guys remember to hit that subscribe button smash that like button and leave a comment below on whether you enjoyed this how to and like i say this is the most up to date as of today the date is the 25th of july on youtube there is no other up to date video on how to do this and this is the easiest way the most non-complicated the less time, it's fantastic, it works perfectly, and it's oh, it's just an all-around time saver. I spent a week and a half trying to get the Panache files to work, and I couldn't get them to work. I've been everywhere to try and prove that I can't get them to work. I've been on PCSX2 forums. There's nothing out there, and nobody mentions this. This code breaker, there is an older video which didn't work for me when I tried it the same way. So this worked for me, which I thought was freaking awesome. So here we go. Get straight back into it. Obviously, it's going to go to cruise because we went back to the garage and we should have went on a cruise. So if you're wondering why it's doing that, that's why it's doing that. And let's have a little look. Let's have a look, Ski. So we're going to go back to the garage to prove that this, the money cheat is still there. Not the money cheat. The cheat has worked. There you go. Bottom right-hand corner. 
proof that the money cheat has mal- worked max money. It's there. Cheats worked. Saves. Works perfectly, just like it would on your PlayStation 2 if you're using a hard copy of the disc cheat disc. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, remember to leave us a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment for more how-to videos if you want to see any more. And um, this is it. Peace out from You've Been Gamed.